Hi, everyone. I had a request to kind of walk through this uh, program that we had with um, the roller coaster program. I did make one slight change at the very end to kind of make things make a little bit more sense, um, but it wasn't too much that it was, it was just one line that I added to the, at the very end. Um, and so really what we have here is we have four variables. We have the number of people on the, the roller coaster. We have the people that get off the roller coaster, get the people that get on the roller coaster, and then we have to say, okay, if we hit, hit the max capacity, how much are we over by? So that was what this last variable is. And so the first stop, it says, how many people are starting on the roller coaster? And I spelled the wrong. And so we're gonna input our first number. That first number that we're in that I asked you to input was nine. And it's gonna say, okay, I'm gonna make that now nine to be both equal to the number of people. And then line 16 now makes it also equal to the total number of people on the roller coaster. From there, it says, okay, while people is less than 25, so right now it's nine. So first round is nine less than or equal to 25. It is. So then what we're going to do is it's gonna tell me, okay, you can add more people. Line 22 then says, how many people, type this really fast, get off. The next thing we're gonna input, that's 23, input, C in, that's gonna be four. And what is it going to do with four is it's going to take the total, which is nine right now, the total, and it's going to subtract nine, four from it, and it's going to store it back in total because total minus equal get off really just means total is equal to total minus get off. So total, the new total is going to be equal to total, which is nine, minus get off, which is four. So now that would make my new total equal to five. And then it says, okay, if my total is less than zero, which it's not, it would run this, but it's not because five is not less than zero. So we go and we just move on to the next line of program outside of this if statement. See out how many people get on, I really type this fast, and two people get on. That's the next number two people get on. Okay, two people get on. So then it's going to say here, that's what we inputted. And now this is just like the subtraction where it's going to say total now is going to be equal to our previous total. Now our previous total now is from line 24. That is now five. And we're going to add two to it. That makes this seven. If total is less than 25, which it's not, seven is not less than 25 because that is now our total after running through this program once, this while loops once and inputting the appropriate thing. So now our total is seven, it's not less than 25. So then it's gonna go here and output, we currently have seven people on the roller coaster, okay? And then it's gonna say, now it's gonna change people, which is at the original of, at the very start of this because everything changed total. At the very start of this, it was nine. And because nothing changed people at the very end, it is now, it was at nine prior to line 44. So what I did was I changed people to be equal to total. There we go. People is equal to total. Okay, so now it changed people and set it equal to seven. Okay, oops. So now it says, okay, is seven less than or equal to 25? It is. So then it's going to say, okay, now let's input the number of people that are getting off. Well, the number of people getting off now is no longer four. It is now three. And it says, okay, I'm going to take total, which we now said again was seven, and I'm going to subtract three to it. That brings me to four. And then it moves on to 26 and says, okay, is our total, which again now is four, so kind of our running total, four is not less than zero. So then it's gonna move on to 31. It's gonna skip this if statement, move on to 31. How many people get on? Well, 11 people get on. We had a party, 11 people get on. 
So now my total is now going to take, and we're going to add 11 to it. So our previous total was 4. Add the people that get on, which is 11. We now have 15 people on, the, on there. 11 is not greater than 25. So then it's going to move to this else statement. And it's going to say we currently have 15 people on the roller coaster. And now it's going to change the people, which was a previously seven. Now it's going to change it to five. Five is going to be equal to, sorry, 15. 15 is going to be equal to people. And it's going to say, okay, is 15 less than or equal to 25? Yes, it is. So then I'm going to say, okay, I can add more people. How many people get off? Well, our next number to input was one. So now we take our total, which is now 15. Subtract one to it. We get 14. Then we ask ourselves, OK, is our total less than 0? It is not. 14 is not less than 0. So how many people get on? Well, right now, how many people get on? That's the next number we're going to input. It's going to be eight. Eight people get on. And it's going to say, OK, let's take our total, which was now 14. Add eight to it, which makes it 22. And we have to ask ourselves, if our total now, which is 22, is that greater than 25? It is not greater than 25. So it's going to output, we have 22 people on the roller coaster. And then it's going to change people to 22. 22 is not, is 22 less than or equal to 25? It is. So we have to ask ourselves, okay, how many people get off? Two people get off. So that makes it, okay, so 22 minus 2, that gives me 20. 20 is greater than 0, so it's not going to print this if statement. How many people get on? 8 still. I believe that was the last one. Yes, 8 again. So now our total is going to be equal to 20 plus 8, which puts it at 28. 28 is greater than, or greater than 25. So it is now, for the first time, going to write this if statement. It says, OK, now it's going to say, you're over capacity. And now it's going to take over and set it equal to the total, which is 28, and subtract 25 to it. Well, 28 minus 25 is 3. So now it's going to say, you have reached max capacity by three people. And then it's going to break out of this while loop. And we're done. So that's the last statement it's going to say. You have reached max capacity by three people. I hope that helped. I know this is kind of a lot of things happening in this program at one time. Let me know if you continue to have questions. I'm always available through email or through the discussion boards. And I hope everyone has a good day, and I hope this cleared up a lot of questions. Thanks.